Good evening everyone. Magandang gabi po. Good evening, good evening po. Isa, isa, isa pa. Isa pa kaya kong eh. Good evening, Tita Fe. Good evening po, Pastor. Good evening rin sa lahat. Hmm. Good evening, Samsung SMP613, si Tita Fe, Tita Fe po tata ito. Hindi nga, si Tita Fe po at Good evening, Tita Josie, Justin, good evening, Giselle, good evening, Rachel, good evening. Good evening, Pastor Bert. Okay, let's start with our uh, prayer request and uh, praise report. Tita Fe, kayo na po mauna. Praise report and prayer request. Praise report. Um, God is good all the time. Uh, yung mga prayers natin for the needs of some brothers and sisters, they call and they ask for prayers. Um, God has answered them. Example, si Brother Manny, Pumasa siya kanina sa, ano, sa test doon sa DMB. And so we praise God for that. We praise God for healing also. And for uh, meeting other needs of people who trust Him. Um, request ko yung we continue to pray for one another, for the church, for our families, for our uh, friends and brothers and sisters in the Lord. Um, so we have to pray for one another dahil ang times ay masama, maginaw pa. Uh, it makes one easily get sick when we are outside. So we need to pray for one another to keep safe and healthy. Yun po ang aking request. Amen. Thank you, Peter Fe. Welcome, Pastor. Good evening, good evening po. Uh, meron tayo dito a uh, praise report tayo sa po si Tesla. And uh, praise the Lord po si, si Jairus. Uh, prayer request, Gemma Vicente. Pamangkin po namin may leukemia na sa Pilipinas. And stronger immunity for the season para po walang sakit at magkahawaan uh, from Rachel. Alright, so Gemma, leukemia. Okay. okay, Sister Janet, good evening sa iyo. Please support and prayer request. Oh, magandang gabi po. Praise, re praise report. Ayun ah, pong safety everyday, lalo na kanina. Medyo malakas po ang ulan from work. Talagang tunay nga po ng safety natin and protection na sa Lord. So, ang prayer request mo po is for Janelle para po sa kanyang... Entrance sa college kung saan po siya idadali ng Panginoon. So, in lamang po, the best place for her to grow and to know more to know Christ more. So, yun lang po. Marami pong salamat. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Thank you po, Tita. 
exceptionnel à uh, college uh, uh, admission. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and also, uh, Peter Josie, good evening. Praise support and prayer request. Pastor, si Noel po ito at uh, she will join us later kasi nag-aalaga ng bata na papatulog. So, praise report. God is good all the time. Salamat sa wisdom, protection, at uh, sa lahat ng mga blessing, pagpapala, sa lahat ng mga katugunan ng mga panalangin, answer prayer, at saka yung kagalingan ng mga bata, Panginoon, especially. At uh, prayer requests, kung traveling mercy all the time sa ating lahat yung pagda-drive natin, pag-uwi, pagpasok, and even maging pag stay natin sa bahay, bigyan tayo ng protection ng Panginoon. And, and congratulations dun sa ano, uh, very successful na Easy Buckets. Uh, <laughs> Bang Bisaya, Pastor. Hanggang ngayon, nangangawit pa yung pangako, kakatawa. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> yung panapanood kayo yung video na natatawa pa rin ako kahit paulit. Uh, hopefully, by Friday pa yun, Pastor, mas maganda yung ano natin dahil mga workers po yung ano nandoon. Ay, yeah, mas ayun. Right. Oh, riot And na naman. Nakahanda rin po tayo mga games for them. Ayos, ayos, ayos yan. Thank you, you know. So, good evening, Tita Fefot. Tita Fefot. Raise support and prayer request. Hi, good evening po. Uh, please report. I take God yung isa pong request ko, prayer request ko. Uh, Naisagot naman. Naayos. Uh, ang prayer request ko po, makauwi si Stephen ang safe na yun kasi 9.30 pa yata ang labas niya. Ang uh, prayer request ko po, yung positive space next week para sa akin sa Thursday. Uh, and also, Pastor, kasi humingi ako ng 3 months supply ng aking medicine. Kanina kinuha ko lima lang ang nabigay. Ay, that, apat lang nabigay, lima pa yung kailangan ko. Importante yung mga strips tsaka yung mga bagong gamot. Pero hindi po maibigay ng right aid dahil three months advance yung ano eh, parang traveling override daw eh yung insurance ko um, post January. So inaayos ko pa po and hopefully by within the week ma-approve ng insurance at makuha ko pa rin yung mga remaining three months medicines ko. Yun lamang po. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you Tita Pepa. Uh, so Three months supply ng meds. All right. Yeah. Uh, so that's for the airline. Approval, po, approval pastor ng insurance. Ma, uh, yeah. Approval ng insurance. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you po. Thank you po. Uh, insurance. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, good evening, Justin. How are you? Praise the port and prayer request. Good evening, everyone. Um, I I praise God because I was able to pass all my finals and uh, my grades turned out okay for this semester. Um, my pray my prayer request is that um, we would we would all stay healthy and safe uh, during the season and uh, for uh, for uh, guidance for the coming for the next school semester. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Justine. Uh okay, next would be uh you know, well, we have here uh Ranger uh, no, Rachel. Uh we have here Pastor Bert. Good evening, Pastor Bert. Grace <laughs> report. Uh, kagabi po, nakarating si David David ng Safe and Sound. Uh, madaling araw na siya dumating. 
Pero pasalamat po yun na iningatan siya ng Panginoon. Uh, praise report. Yun po, uh, eh, praise report. Uh, prayer request, yun po ano niya. Uh, Pakiusap niya yung F1 niya uh, for uh, approval po. Salamat mm -hmm. yes. po. Thank you, thank you, uh, Pastor Bert. Good evening, Aldrin and Jasmine. Praise report and prayer request. Thank you. Good evening po. Good evening po. Ito uh, muna. Praise report po. Um, Nakakapag-banding po. Thank you kayo. Nagkis nakakapag-banding po kami ni Anaya dito sa bahay dahil bakasyon ko na din po. And um, naging safe naman po parate kahit si Adi sa pagpasok sa work at pag-uwi. And every day is a blessing po. Nagpapasalamat po kami. And praise report din po na si Adam is nag, ano yung boss po niya, nagbigay po ng bonus. So thank God po talaga. Wow. Grabe na. Oh. Nag-apply na rin dyan din na Aldrin. Lagi na lang may bonus, libreng cash. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, prayer request po is... um. Etong darating na Pasko po, New Year, is lahat po tayo safe at walang magkakasakit po. Yan lang po. Thank you. Salamat, Jasmine. Good evening, uh, Alison May. Praise report and prayer request. Mukhang fresh pa to sa galaan. May Joshua sa ginataray. Praise report po is nakapag- Discipleship po kami nila Ate Kled and Ate Faith. And um, safe po kaming nakarating at nakabalik po. And um, good thing po is um, mas napag-usapan po namin si yung Abad kay Lord during our hike. And then um, yung bond po namin, yun, the communication we were able to talk more about anong ganap sa buhay namin. And then the ate is giving me some advices that will help me to be fruitful as an individual and as a servant of God. And another praise report po is tapos na po ang semester. Um, everything po is pasado po sa aking classes. So I'm very thankful po kay Lord noon. And nakakuha na din po ako ng new classes for the upcoming semester. Prayer request po is um, continuous guidance po na maging continue lang po yung smooth flow na nahanap ko na po ngayon yung um, like um, nahanap ko na po yung ang tawag dito? Yung tamang pacing ko po for myself. And um another prayer request po is for more teachers sa uh, sinag po and na praying na mas makontinue ko pa pong maging good role model sa sinag kids na tinuturuan ko po and na may matutunan po sila sa mga tinuturo po namin. Yun po. Amen. Salamat. Salamat, Alison. Good evening, Tita Rose. Praise report and prayer request. Uh, praise report ko po uh, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat uh, by the way ang praise report ko po katapot, yung pong uh, aking pasyente ay hindi na po lilipat sa Washington so hopefully po hindi magbago isip uli uh, praise God po na ano, nag-aalala po kasi ako na aalis sila pero mm -hmm. ko po na you know, ibigay ang best sa kanila Tumingin po sila ng mga retirement homes pero hindi po nila nagustuhan. Pero kung ano pa rin po ang best para sa kanila, kung ano po ang nakalaan na, na makakabuti sa kanila, kung magbago man po, tatanggapin ko po. Anyway, uh, marami pong dumarating na blessing sa atin. May mga client po na tinitingnan pa rin po na para po makapagbigay din po ng trabaho sa iba. Ah, uh, isa pa pong praise report ko po eh bukas po ay birthday ni Loren. So nagpapasalamat po ako in advance. 
na sa panibagong araw po ng buhay ng aking anak. Yan lang po. At, uh, prayer request ko naman po ay uh, maging safe po tayo lahat, lalo na po ngayon at medyo ma masama po ang panahon maulan. So, sana po maging safe ang lahat. Ingat lang po tayo. Yan lang po. Salamat po. Amen. Thank you, Sister Rose. All right. Good evening, Tita Amy. Uh, praise support Hi. and praise. Ah. Uh, salamat po ako sa Lord dahil ah uh, at least po uh, wala nang mga sipon-sipon, may ubo na lang konti. So, praise God sa mga biyaya pang ng Panginoon sa atin sa araw-araw. Ilan po. Thank you. All right, thank you, thank you. Okay, Giselle, praise support and prayer request. Good evening po sa lahat. Um, praise report ko po tapos na po ang semester and posted na po yung dalawa kong grades and pasado naman po so yun po waiting na lang po sa isa pang class and also a fruitful discipleship po with ate Kled no Monday very refreshing lang po ang aming um, year end discipleship and prayer request naman po uh, matanggap po ako sa isang class na inaplayan ko po for next semester um, limited slots lang po kasi siya so sa po, makuha ko po yung class na yon Or if meron pa pong ibang class na pwedeng alternative. And yun lang po. Okay. So, Giselle, uh, to be admitted to the anong class yun? <laughs> class? Um, special taxation class? Taxation po siya. Yeah, taxation. Taxation, ah. Okay. Kayang-kaya mo yan. <laughs> Station. Okay. So, okay, okay. All right. Good evening. Welcome to the Upper Zoom Prayer Gathering. And uh, it's Wednesday once again, 8 p.m. every Wednesday. So, we're done with prayer support and prayer request. So, we'll now go with... Oops. Sandali. Medyo na-mess up ko ata ito. Para to dito eh. Uh-huh. We'll turn over kay Giselle. So, for tonight, it's uh, Giselle. Uh, next week would be uh, Jasmine. So, si Jasmine na uh, devotional leader natin next week. So, for tonight, it will be Giselle. All right, Giselle, uh, kindly lead us into prayer and sa ating devotion sa pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos. It's all yours. Um, as we start our devotion po, I'll pray po muna. Um, Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for tonight that you gathered us to talk about your word, Lord, and pray for one another as well, Lord. Um, As we start with our devotion, may your word speak to each one of us and may we just apply it in our lives and also share it to those who need your word and your truth, Lord. And we just honor your name in your only. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, yeah, but, um I have been looking po for a while ng year end devotions. And ito po yung napili ko. Our verse po for tonight is Psalm 90 verse 12. Says po, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So yun po. Um, the first part po of this verse says, teach us to number our days, because of our sins we will all face death whether we like it or not. And many people live in denial, but in reality our days are numbered. Pero po yung verse na po ito, it's not just about us understanding the reality of life, but it is more on what we should do with our numbered days. Since our days are few, um, we should use our time wisely. And very common po sa atin yung pinagpapabukas na lang yung mga bagay-bagay, kahit yung mga importante. But one day, there won't be a tomorrow. So yun po, we should use our time wisely while listening and doing what God says is best. And we tend to focus po on the first part of this verse when... The point of this verse really is about 
gaining a heart of wisdom. So, lagi po natin sinasabi na, um, Lord, thank you for another day, another blessing. So, therefore, we should use our days in God-honoring ways. And pag ginawa po natin yun na, um, we just honor God. Everything will follow po. We will grow in wisdom and prioritize what is most important in our life. So, um, how can we apply this verse or how can we actually live this out? So, number one po, um, we should seek God daily. We can pray, um, meditate, study God's word, journaling, reflecting on your day. Walang excuses po dapat kasi there's so many ways to seek Him. And second one naman po, um, keep the end in mind. Kahit ayaw po natin siyang iniisip or pinag-uusapan, um, it's the reality. So as we think of the end, um, it can give us a greater sense of purpose and um, what they call this, an urgency sa kung ano dapat natin gawin today. So keeping the end in mind means that we are focused on the promise of eternity with God, which should bring hope and encouragement to keep going. And not but not the least, um, prioritize what's most important. We tend to prioritize kung ano yung gusto natin mangyari and kung paano siya ma-achieve. Pero yung mindset po na yun, pinapakita lang kung ano nasa harap natin as of the moment. So we tend to miss out on what is most important, meaning we should prioritize um having a deep connection with God providing for our families and serving those around us so yun po um life is short but we should strive for it to be rich through seeking him and following him so yun lang po ang devotion for tonight thank you po thank you Giselle and for the question uh for discussion how does the passing of the years affect you? And what is your own way to make your days richer through God? So, sinong gustong mauna? Okay. Okay, Giselle, pili ka kung sino unong gustong mauna sumagot. Um, si Tita Janet. Po. Okay, Tita Janet. How does the passing of the years affect you? And what is your own way to make your days richer through God? So, maganda po yung ating napag-aralan. Matunay nga ni um, yung prayer na Lord, number our days are right. Uh, sa mga choices, sa mga decision makings, um, talaga pong kailangan natin yung wisdom and direction sa Panginoon. So this coming year, 2024, I just thank God for what transpired this 2023, mga nangyari in the past, how to face the challenges in terms of material, health, family, and uh, all those things. Ibinigay ko yun sa Lord. Sabi ko, Lord, I just thank you for all those things that you have made doors open that you have made divine connections sa mga tao, sa mga kapatid. Lord, those are blessings from you. And Lord, as I face this new year, make me a better person for me to be able to be a better servant for your glory. Yun lamang po. Thank you. Magandang gabi po sa lahat. Amen. Thank you, Sister Janet. Uh, Tita, Tita Fe, good evening sa iyo, Deb. So, how does the passing of years affect you? Um, the years that have gone by, the good things that had happened, I always reckon them and thank that for thank God for them because they help us in facing the current years. And the failures also that we I have uh, experienced in the past, it makes me, it gives me wisdom to do better in uh, at the future time or in the present years. But and uh, I I didn't I didn't I wasn't able to 
to read the other half of the question. Uh, what is your own way to make your days riches through God? Um, being connected to the Lord all the time and giving his and getting his wisdom, praying for God's wisdom helps me a lot. And uh, there's not a day that I don't connect myself to the Lord uh, because without him, I get lost. I don't have the wisdom to use for the day. And so I always, I'm always uh, um, guided by the wisdom of God. And I never forget the past in order to improve what I need to do at the present time. So I thank the Lord because he gives us wisdom and he's faithful. And the word that we hear from him or read from the Bible is a, our stronghold and we will never fail because he is faithful. You know, po. Thank you, Tita Fe. Good evening, uh, Tita Fe. Pot, it's your turn. Good evening, po. Ano po ang tanong, Pastor? <laughs> How does the patching of the years affect you? Uh, for the past year, ito 2023, although meron tayong mga struggle, but I thank God uh, naging maayos na mga matagumpay. Sinagot ni Lord ang mga prayers natin, although hindi madaling sinagot, dumaan tayo sa butas, pero napagtagumpayan natin through the help of God. Yun. At saka, uh, I'm happy na matatapos ko na po yung tatlong chapter na lang ang De Deuteronomy. It took me three months na matapos yun. Kasi pag hindi ko maintindihan, binabalik-balikan ko eh. Hindi ko maiwan ang chapter pag hindi ko maintindihan. Yun. And I thank that for that. And for the coming year, I continued, uh, natutunan ko po lalo maging devoted sa Lord, magpasalamat every morning, every night. Ginaguide ko rin si Stephen na bago matulog, bago umalis, magpipray siya para protect the Lord. And I also encourage him na, patuloy ko po siya in-encourage, masahin yung Bible sa kanyang cellphone. Yun po. At saka, and I also thank God na nabibless din po ako through faith. Kasi every time magpipreach siya, siyempre nabibless din ako dahil sa mga preaching ng mga pastors natin. At saka yung mga, tayo, mga tao sa church na nagsusuport at sa pamilya namin. So I thank God that the coming year will be more fruitful, hindi lang po sa amin, kundi sa buong pamilya ng church natin. At lalo po tayong lumago at more workers po, Lord. Uh, I thank God also, Lord. Uh, I thank God also, Pastor, dahil may mga nag-volunteer naman na while I'm away, may mga nag-volunteer para sa asiring natin. So, yun lamang po. Thank you, Tita Pepot. And uh, kay Magdala, alagaan namin ang asiring ministry niya. <laughs> Good evening, oh, Jess. Pastor, meron na mga, may mga nag-commit naman eh. Tsaka, Sino ba ang nag-commit? Ah, may mga bago sila, Terry, si si Dave, si Dave, mm -hmm. si Len Len. Kasi si Len Len, nung pa namin nililigawan yun eh. Kasi talagang <laughs> ayaw niya ang amano. Pero ngayon, he is committed, sabi ko Len. Yun. At tsaka, ang head na ang inasign ko naman leader, si Amy. At tsaka, ako wala, hindi available, si, te, si Terry. Pero final pa rin po si Pastor Ray. Amen. Okay. Thank you. And uh, we're glad that uh, everything is okay. Bago mo is Tita Pepo. Kita-kits tayo, Tita Peps. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> sabi ni sabi ni Winnie, hindi na available. Huwag <laughs> kayo wala. <laughs> sabi okay. niya na po, imposible tita at magkalayo kami. <laughs> nasa, nasa ano siya, south siya, nasa north ako eh. Okay, magkita-kita na lang tayo sa mata. Nasa <laughs> <laughs> bagyo ko, nasa ano siya, nasa Quezon. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Justin, good evening. Your turn. Good 
Can I see the question again? Uh, for the first part, um, the passing of of each year, it, re it reminds me that um, God has not um, forsaken me or my family. I remember that he has sustained me throughout the whole year. And it also um, reminds me to look back on the past year um, to, to remember any mistakes that I did. Uh, not to dwell on it, but to learn from it and how I can use that to grow in the next years. Um, my own way to make my days richer through God is, um, is to spend time listening to sermons, listening to, or reading his word. Uh, cause I think, um, that's how we, uh, that's how we are, we can get most connected to God besides prayer is to study what he has said already. And I guess that's all. Thank you, Justin. Good evening, good evening sa iyo. Uh, Sister Rachel, good evening. Your turn. Hello po, good evening. Uh, ako po yung passing years. Um, I think kung uh, we dedicate our lives and our time uh, to the Lord serving Him, I think um, wala po wasted time uh, kung iisipin niyo po. And then, um, and then ano po yung tanong yung next po? And then, yun, yun nga po, uh, we should be serving the Lord with all our hearts, with all our um, minds. Um, parang kapag po Saturday and Sunday, we really dedicate that day uh, and we commit ourselves for those days talaga serving Him. So, I think, yun po. And then, yung uh, dedicating your day then every day to Him uh, para po mapapurian siya at mapasambahan po siya. So, so, yun po. Kaya po, pag minsan po iniisip ko yung mga um, uh, na, yung mga namatay na po and then nakasama na po nila si Lord Minsan po naisip ko, buti pa sila, no, na ano na sila, unending praise and worship na lang yung ginagawa, ginagawa nila sa heaven with the Lord. So, ayun po, I think, yun din po yung parang dapat ginagawa na natin dito pa lamang sa earth. Yung, ano, yung serving Him and then uh, praising Him non-stop, yun po. Thank you, Rachel. Good evening, Pastor Bert. Your turn po, Pastor Bert. Gandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Good evening. How does the passing of the years affect you? Very much. Mucho. <laughs> uh, spiritually, physically, and lahat na siguro ng aspeto ng buhay. I know na 365 days, 12 months, and 30 days every month. <laughs> We have a lot of uh, uh, mga experience na naging uh, either productive or uh, naging uh, challenge sa atin. Productive and unproductive things. Uh, yun po yung na naranasan ko within this year as if as you draw near to the Lord. No? Yun po yung ano natin. Goal natin, looking into Jesus every day, I learned getting nearer to Him. I see, call us, no? So, yun po, na, na as we draw near to Him, parang yung sabi niya sa Ezekiel, kaya prophet Ezekiel, as he walked to that water, the water is getting higher and higher until that time na he can no longer uh, uh, 
uh, go against the water. Siguro yun po yung ano natin na uh, as the Lord is uh, lifting us or level up no yung spirituality natin, yung maturity natin, yung relationship natin sa Kanya. Uh, there are a lot of struggles and yet we must learn how to swim. No? Yung tayo ay marunong na uh, lumbangoy sa tubig ng Panginoon. Uh, the leading of the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we struggle because we still have the appetite of the world. No? Yung influence ng mundo. Minsan eh, nababahiran tayo. Nakakalimot tayo. Kaya nag-struggle tayo. Well, we are just still human, sabi nga. But I believe as a Christian, uh, they may say that uh, as an excuse, but for us, sabi nga, if we are under Christ, no, covered by His righteousness, sabi nga niya na all these things, I can do all these things. no. It means to say we can overcome. Pwede nating mapanagumpayan. Yung mga weaknesses natin, no? yung mga bagay na nagagawa pa natin na hindi tama o hindi kaya yes sa Panginoon, I believe we can overcome as long na tayo ay really uh, continue to surrender ourselves. No? And so that uh, yung desire natin, no? sabi nga, we are in this world but we are not for this world. Uh, hindi tayo para sa mundo nito kahit na nandito tayo sa mundo ang ating goal ay yung pinangako ng Panginoon sa atin kung nasan siya dapat tayo nandun tayo so this year no 2023 there are a lot of challenges nga and yet we I myself I try to strive no yung calling ng Panginoon and yung pinaka uh, nun niya sa atin to uh, reach more souls for His kingdom. Na kaya as much as possible, kahit na saan ako pumunta, if I have the opportunity. Uh, kasi yun minsan ng ano ng Panginoon. Uh, sometimes you have the opportunity. Sometimes you miss it. No? Kaya as much as possible, kapag mayroong opportunity, I try to grab it and share the good news, the gospel. So yun po, for the passing of the year, Marami mga challenges and yet as much as possible, I try and we must try to try uh, for that high calling of Christ in our life. At ano pa po yung isa? Uh, meron pa ata ang pangalaw eh. Ano po yung isang question? Eh, additional po ata yan. And what is your own way to make your days richer to God? Uh, siguro yun na po, no? Na we must have more appetite no sa mga gawain ng Panginoon sa kanyang mga kalooban yung mga desire ng Panginoon what is the very uh the desire of God no yung pulso or the heartbeat of God at uh, kung ano yung nasisiya ng Panginoon na uh, gawin ng kalooban niya eh, dapat iyon po ang uh, ating maggawa ayun uh, din ang aking uh, passion uh to know and to do and what is the heartbeat of God, yung kalooban niya sa atin. Yan po siguro, in order for us to reach our, our days, no? Uh, sabi nga ni Giselle, our life is too short, so make it work before God and to our fellow men. So yan po, maraming salamat po. Thank you, Pastor Bert. Uh, good evening, good evening, Anastasios. It's your turn. Hello, good evening po. Um, how does the passing of the years affect you? It makes me feel old. Thank you po. Ano po? Uh, passing of the years, ano po? Um, yeah. Makes you feel old. Uh, pero ano po? It's, it's ano po? another year of more wisdom. So, as you gain more wisdom each year, um, it makes you realize na um, very short yung given time sa atin dito sa earth and we need to um, pass it to the next generation. So, yung mga kids natin, we need to continue in discipling them 
uh, mentoring them, and also yung mga youth po ng church. So, um, so that, you know, we can, we can continue God's work, His ministry, and um, expand the kingdom of God here on earth. So, yun po, we should also continue praying for our loved ones, especially yung mga hindi saved or mga nag-backslide na bumalik na po sa kayo sila kay Lord. Um, continue to be uh, uh, used by God, seek His will. So that more people will be inspired or ano, makita nila na uh, they can see Jesus in your life. So yun po, yun po yung uh, takeaway po namin. Thank you, Anastasios. Good evening, Tita Amy. Your turn. Hi. Good evening po. Uh, ano na nga ba yung una? Yung mga passing years po ay how does the passing of the years affect you? Uh, sa the past years po na pinagdaanan po uh, ay napatunayan ko na no matter how uh, uh, how you if you are a Christian man or hindi Life is not a bed of roses, but if you have God with you, you go through with it na, na empower ka niya na that I uh, parang napatunayan ko na God is in control in every event of our life na na lagpasan ang mga problema Ano man to, physical man, emotional, family problems man, lahat po ay nalalagpasan natin. Uh, parang iniit natin na ba't kaya uh, gano'n ang buhay, <laughs> hindi nawawala ng problema. Pero masaya po na na-realize ko na ang Panginoon ay parating nandyan. sa atin, nagkagabay at sumasagot sa mga problema. At uh, ano ba yun? This your own way to cure this creature to God. Uh, I uh, our way to God is continue to be in tone with God. continue to reflect on his word hear his word hear what the pastors are, are relaying from God and uh, and continue to, to be of service to God um, parang sa akin po kahit na uh, sa attendance po ako I mean Uh, parang ang saya-saya ko pag merong bagong bagong nalilista ko na ano na na attendi parang parang ah uh, so parang iniisip ko na pagkatapos ng service kakausapin ko talaga sila kunin ko panganan then uh, make ano uh, pakilala ganyan para ma-encourage sila na bumalik yung ganyan So, yun lang po ang sa akin na patuloy akong gamitin ng Panginoon sa uh, pagmalakas ang katawan ko. Pag ganyan po, pero pag may sakit, hindi ako nakaka -aten. So, I praise God for every moment of my life, kahit na life is short, but life is is fuller with with the help of God. Yun lang po. Amen. Thank you, Sister. Thank you. Good evening, good evening sa iyo, uh, Alison May. It's your turn. Hello po. Good evening po. Para sa akin naman po, how does the passing of years affect you and what is your own way to make your days richer through God? I think the past, this passing years, um, It has shown me and has helped me to 
know who I am, to know who I am more. Um, my likes, dislikes, comfort and uncomfortness. Um, and I think it has helped me grow as well. In my own way to make um your days richer through God. And I think then through those years, <clears throat> God has helped me be molded of who I am today. Um through experiences and the journey. And then dahil dun sa mga yon, more and more nakikilala ko si Lord dahil he has placed me kagaya sa ministry. It wasn't just myself but he planned it without even me knowing. Maybe it could be in the ministry, maybe with me just talking to my friends about the gospel or maybe may mga na-encounter ako sa uh, online and then suddenly I would comment about the gospel. And I think those um those are the things how I could make my days richer to God by more being open of the good news, his good news. Kone ginagawa niya sa buhay ko, kone ginagawa niya sa paligid ko. And um to keep on worshiping him and the uh, Actually, um, naalala ko na pag-usapan namin ni Ate Mavi yung how before I wasn't really into sa mga bata. But probably caused by through the years and how God moved in my heart. Um, yung heart ko nag-iba. Mas, nung nagtuturo ako sa especially ngayon, like sa toddlers then, yung masaya yung heart ko. And then masaya, masaya din yung heart ko maggawa ng lectures. And probably that's how I want to, that's part of it, of how I want to keep on glorifying God. Except from praise and worship, um, yun sa pagturo ng kids. And most of all is, recognizing his good news in every day. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Alison. It was uh, nice to hear. All right. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Tayo po'y dumako sa ating uh, panalangin. At uh, sisimulan ko na po. Magandang gabi po sa inyo, Panginoon. Maraming salamat po sa kapangyarihan ng panalangin. Kayo po ay tinataas namin sa gabi na ito. Uh, pangalan niyo lamang, Panginoon, ang naway mairitaas at maglorify, Panginoon. At uh, maraming salamat, Panginoon, dahil kayo po ang aming takbuhan. Kayo po ang hari ng mga hari at Panginoon ng mga Panginoon. Dalangin po namin, Panginoon, na patawarin niyo kami sa aming mga pagkakasala, sa aming mga naisip, nasabi, at uh, mga ginawang mali na naway uh, pagkalinisan niyo po kami ng banal niyong dugo at uh, mamingi po kami ng kapatawaran sa mga kasalanan po namin. Uh, Panginoon na uh, dalangin namin at uh, uh, puso namin ay punong-puno ng pasalamat sa lahat ng mga uh, blessings na natanggap namin, patuloy na tatanggap at uh, muli pang ma 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 matatanggap pa in the future. Uh, we are always faithful sa amin kahit hindi kami faithful, Panginoon. Uh, Panginoon, sa mga susunod na panalangin, dakila, na, dakila po kayo na kayo po ang sasagot sa aming mga at uh, tutugon sa aming mga panalangin. Pinata sa aming Panginoon ang uh, gulo sa Ukraine at sa Russia na naway matapos na, Panginoon. We are praying for the peace of Israel. And also uh, that uh, these people, both the Israelites and the uh, the uh, Palestinians will get to know Jesus more, Panginoon. We pray for peace at matapos sa lahat, proteksyonan niyo yung mga walang kasalanan at walang kinalaman, Panginoon, sa gulo na ito. Inaalala na, namin, Panginoon, sa 
Gabi na to sa panalangin si uh, Tanega uh, Ashley. Uh, uh, talangin namin uh, Aisha, Tanega Aisha. Uh, uh, si Sister Malu uh, Perea na naway makabalik po sila Panginoon sa aming uh, simbahan. Ganun din po si Annalisa. Uh, si Chad Panginoon, we remember him. sa prayer Panginoon na kung nasan man siya Panginoon na way makabalik po sila sa simbahan we're praying for Christine and Noel de La Paz uh, John Carla Carl Ella and Kurt Melencio Panginoon we pray na uh, na way mabuti po ang kanilang kinalagyan at uh, uh, pagpalaan niyo po sila and you continue to reveal yourself to them Lord God at patuloy po kayo na mangusap sa puso nila Panginoon Patuloy niyo pong pagyamanin ang kanilang buhay spiritual, Panginoon. Panginoon, we are praying for the LA Campus, ang Filipino, English, uh, Spanish, at ang dalawang, Kore- ang dalawang Korean churches. Na uh, prayer namin ay pagkakaisa, Panginoon. Uh, si Sir Janet, kindly lead us a prayer for the Church of the Nazarene. Thank you. Um. Lord, we just come to you, Lord, lifting up to you our leaders. We pray for our general superintendents. We pray for Busik, for Crocker, for Trumbo and Sunberg, Daniels, and uh, Sarmiento. Lord, we pray for our district superintendents, Mark Lemon, for our local church board, for Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bong, for Sister Girly, Sister LV, Lord, we pray for uh, for each and every one of them. We pray for your hand to just continuously, oh God, strengthen our leaders. And we pray for uh, the English service. We pray for the English uh, church. We pray for Joshua Tigila, for Michael, Ma- Ma- Michael Mata, for Dan Bayer, Pedro Torres. Lord, we pray for uh, the South Korean church and even for the Spanish. We pray for Juan Pajardo, for Lima Pajardo, for Gladys Rosales, for South Korean uh, Ki Sun Lee, Moon Lee, Moon Hee Lee, North Korean Chong Wan Lee, Han Suk Lee, for the MCB staff, for Star Curtis, Nick Minor. Father, we pray and lift up to you, your people. For your leaders, we pray for your hand to be always be upon them, God, in, in their decisions, in their choices, regarding your church, regarding your ministry. Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit will continue to guide them and give them wisdom and understanding on how, Lord God, to lead your people. Father, we just pray for strength. We pray for provision to be upon their families as well. And Father, in times of Uh, in times of uh, difficulties, we pray, Father, that you will always clothe them, Father, with your comfort. Continue to protect them as well from those people that are not in connection with them. Father, detach them, O Lord. Detach your servant, Lord, from those people, incidents, or circumstances that is not. Panginoon, po silang pagpalain. Let it be continuous. There will be unity, harmony in our church, O oh God, especially for our leaders. That the love will always be mentored, O oh God. Nakita sa kanila, Panginoon, ang pagiging isang uh, ehemplo ng pagiging lingkod mo. Maraming salamat po sa buhay nila, Panginoon. Pagpalaan mo sila sa ng kanilang mga pamilya. Thank you so much for their lives. We speak blessing. We speak favor. We speak grace. We, be, we speak abundance in their lives. May the covering of the blood of Jesus be with them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Sister Janet. For complete healing, provisions, comfort, peace, and other concerns. Uh, Tita Pepot, kindly lead us. Thank you. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you, Lord. We lift up to you the following people, O oh Lord, for complete healing. Si Gemma sa Vicente, Dr. Ramil for complete recovery. Danilo Pagio, complete recovery. Romy Giwa for kidney problem. Greg Garman for complete healing, Patrick Noel able to walk, join the church, 
and Ivan the Rosario for anxiety, Lord. We continue, we continue to lift them up to you, Lord. We know, Lord, na there's nothing nothing is impossible to you, O Lord. Na kaya niyo po silang pagalingin, Lord. Kayo lamang po ang kanilang pag-asa, Lord. And we continue to lift them up to you, Lord, from their sickness. Healing be upon them from their head hanggang sa kanilang paapu, Lord. Marami po salamat at we claim, Lord, your healing upon their bodies, upon whatever sickness they have, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Tita Pepot. For complete healing from cancer, uh, Sister Rachel, kindly lead us. Thank you. Lord, pinapanalangin po namin ang mga taong ito, Lord. Um, healing from cancer, Lord, simula po kay Tess Uy sa kanya pong ovarian cancer, Edna Labirinto sa breast cancer po, Ricardo Madrid, Uh, lungs, Noah de Guzman Bone, Ellie Heradura Stoma, Rachel sa kanya pong lungs, Lord. We're all praying for this uh, people, Lord, na <clears throat> nawapuhi po inyo po ang kanilang, um, uh, ang kanilang mga katawan, Lord. At alam po namin na kailangan po ang makakagawa, Lord, ng miracle sa kanila pong mga buhay, sa kanila pong katawan, Lord, na mawala po lahat ng cancer cells, Lord. At uh, nawapo, Lord, hipuin niya rin po yung mga Doctors, Lord, nurses, medtech, Lord, lahat po ng mga medical persons na humahawak po sa kanila, Lord. <clears throat> Continue to guide them and bless them, Lord, as they uh, help these people, Lord, sa kanila pong journey, sa kanila pong cancer, Lord. And we're praying, Lord, that you will provide for them as well, Lord, sa kanila pong mga treatments, Lord, sa kanila pong mga medications, Lord. And alam po namin na one day we will receive... um. A good message from them, Lord, na pinagaling yun na po sila. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sis. Thank you, Sister Rachel. Uh, for personal supplication, uh, special favor and request, uh, Sister Giselle, can you lead us? Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for tonight, Lord, that we had an opportunity to pray for one another. We are lifting up all these people that have special favors and requests, Lord. Um, Lord, I lift up to you my desire, Lord, to get into this um, specific class, taxation class. Nothing is impossible with you, Lord. And I just pray that I'll be able to enroll for all the classes I need to graduate, Lord. And I also lift up to you, um, Kuya David. I pray that the process for his Um, F1 approval will be smooth, Lord, that you will bless and touch those people who are handling this, Lord. We also pray for Tita Pepot. Um, may you provide for all her needs, like her three months supply of meds. And we just claim a smooth approval for her insurance and also a slot for her desired flight as well, Lord. And may you also bless those who are helping Tita Pepot process all of these, Lord. Uh, and I also pray for um, Janelle. I know this season is overwhelming for the high school students, Lord. So may you just direct her in the right path, the right school, where she will grow in all aspects, Lord, especially spiritually. We also um, lift up Atifade for um, processing of papers, extension in USA, Lord, as well. I pray that you will also bless those who are handling um these processes lord and i just also pray for ava lord we pray lord that she will also um get her green card and that it will be released soon lord we also pray for shaley may you just grant her heart's desire lord to be with her dad without any issues lord in jesus name and lord we also pray for um, pastor jeff for his upcoming district lessons renewal Now, this process will be smooth through your help and guidance and also the wisdom that's coming from you, Lord. We also pray that he will pass the panel interview and also um, approval for ordination. I pray, Lord, that all these things will be in order. And we also pray for those people who he will be encountering. May you also bless them. And may they also be blessed by um, Pastor Jeff. And I also lift up, Lord, the upcoming weddings um, at the Anjali, Kuyadar, Tito Dennis, Tito Mao, Tito Shane, Tito Almira, um, Steve and Michelle. We pray that you will increase their faith and trust in you, Lord, as they anticipate to get married, Lord. And I also lift up to you, um, Joshua. I pray, Lord, that you will help him and also those who are helping him, Lord, to find and gather all the documents that he needs, Lord. 
and a place to stay and may he also find a work so he can provide for his needs Lord Jesus and I also pray Lord for um, Lauren Ivan Del Rosario and Job that you will help each one of them Lord to be more socially adjusted and may they just find the um the support system that they need and may they just see your importance in their lives Lord Jesus we praise you in everything that we do and may you just grant our hearts desires and may we just follow your will and plans for all of us Lord Jesus in Jesus name we pray amen Amen. Thank you, Giselle. For events, upcoming events, uh, Justin, kindly lead us in prayer. Thank you. Lord, we lift up these following events towards you, Lord. Um, we pray for the Workers' Christmas Fellowship on Friday. We pray for the Christmas Carol on Saturday. The LA Philness Church Christmas Fellowship on Sunday and New Year's Eve Fellowship. We also pray for annual prayer and fasting in January. We pray for the membership classes also in January. And we pray for the Youth Compassionate Ministry with St. Vincent Meals. Lord, we pray for all of these events to be smooth, that you would not let any schemes of the enemy to prosper. Lord, I pray, we pray that you would uh, anoint whoever will be working in these events, that we, that you would use us for your glory. May these events, um, reach more people so so that more souls would be one for your kingdom. Um, we pray, Lord, that you would give guidance and wisdom to whoever will be facilitating these events and, and that there wouldn't be any problems, Lord. Bless all of these events. May they glorify you and you alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Justine, for our popcorn prayer. Uh, you may uh, pray for anything, whatever the Lord is uh, asking you to pray for. And uh, um, uh, just uh, uh, spontaneously, you may start praying now. Thank you. Lord, I lift up to you, Lord, the young mga 200 families na nasunugan kahapon ng umaga, Lord, sa Tondo. I pray, Lord, uh, na sana po may mag-respond ng mga tao, humihigi po sila, Lord, na uh, wala po silang naisalba, especially ngayon na magpapasko. I pray, Lord, na meron po sana sa kanila magbigay ng mga damit, mga bedding, pagkain. At yung mga matatanda po, Lord, na may sakit, na sana po magamot sila, Lord. Lahat po, Lord, ito, Lord, lalo na yung mga sa mga is, na sunugan na nasa mga tent lang po, Lord. I pray, Lord, na sana po matulungan sila ng, 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 ng mayor ng Tondo at ang mga government organizations para man po maging masaya ang kanilang Pasko, Lord. At huwag po sanang uulan dahil kawawa po sila, Lord, kung uulanin pa po sila. Thank you, Lord, and I know, Lord, na iingatan niyo po sila. You will cover them, O Lord, lalo na po yung mga bata at matatanda. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lord, I pray for members of my family that hasn't uh, have accepted you as their Lord and Savior and have personal relationship, Lord, especially uh, my son-in-law, Jared, and a girlfriend of my son, Anna, and my brother and his family, Lord God. I pray that the Holy Spirit may touch their hearts and minds to know you, O oh Lord God, to uh, have a personal relationship with you. 
In Jesus' name we pray. I pray, amen. Pastor Bert, can you lead us to our benediction? Thank you. Amen. Yeah. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa gabing ito. Ikaw nga ay aming pinupuri at dinadakila. At salamat po, Panginoon, na turuan niyo nga po kami na, na mabilang, Panginoon, ang mga nalalabing araw namin sa pamamalagi namin sa mundong ito. Truly, indeed, time is short, life is short, and yet, Lord God, may we as we live, O God, and doing your will, may we give glory to your name. Salamat po sa gabing ito at sa aming paghimlay, Panginoon. Hayaan mo nga na ang iyong pagpapala ay gawad mo sa bawat isa at sa aming mga pamilya na aming kinabibigyan. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face towards you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Thank you, Pastor Bird. Okay, buksan na natin ang ating mga bintana. Pastor, correction pala. Hindi po pala si Dave yung sa Asterings, Kuya Ben. <laughs> Baka ah, magulat si Rose. <laughs> Pagkamukha naman eh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, sige po. Buksan na po ang ating mga bintana. Tayo mag-picture-picture picture na. Good evening sa'yo, Tyron. Good evening po, oh, kakarating lang po namin. Galing Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. Opo, opo. Okay, alright. So, ready na ba? Kompleto na ba lahat? Okay, at the count of three. One, two, no, three, na. and smile. Hi, Rizel. Ang ganda naman ng smile mo, Rizel. Ah, si Rizel pala yun. <laughs> ayan, ayan. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll see you on Friday <laughs> our workers appreciate at uh, workers Christmas party. So, uh, uh, yeah, formal po, Pastor. Ano po, naka jacket tayo na black na black. Na black. Ah, okay. Yung sweater po oh. natin, sweatshirt na La Filnas, Simbang Pinoy. Kasi malamig. <laughs> Opo, tsaka yung formal, uh, gagawin na natin sa ano na yun, sa... Uh, Here na. Hindi po, sa... Sunday? Valentine's Day po. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yung formal yeah. sa mga kasalan na. <laughs> <laughs> sa Valentine's Day, magpo-formal kayo. Tsaka doon sa mga atin na yung kasal. <laughs> ano po yung seven, seven or eight po? Ang alin po? Ang party sa Friday. Sa Friday po, 7. Uh, ah, no? si okay. Papakain na ng 7, 8 o'clock, sisimula na isang uh, isang uh, awitin. Siyempre, halina at sama-sama. Tapos may isang question lang. Mag-group kayo into 3 or 4. Isang question lang. No? Yung question, eh, since birthday ni Jesus, anong gusto mong birthday gift sa kanya? Yan. Kasi di ba pag Pasko, tanggap tayo ng tanggap na regalo eh. Pero since birthday niya, anong birthday gift mo sa kanya? Di ba? Particularly sa ministry. Di ba? So, nasali ka ba ng sinag kids or whatever, kung ano yung gusto mong gawin para sa Lord. No? Uh, yun, isishare yeah. mo na sa group. After ng group discussion, it's all fun and games and chit chat and fellowship. So, relax mode lang sa sa Friday. All right. Oh, okay. We'll see you. See you on Friday. See? God bless you. Bye. Thank you, Paul. Bye.